Within the last 48 hours, I've had three people come up to me and say that they will never be confident or they say that they are, they're, they're never gonna get over their fear. Anybody who says this, I like to challenge them. Because by saying this, by saying I'm never going to be confident or I'm never going to get over my fear, all you're doing is you're making up an excuse to not have to deal with it. People then say, that obviously being challenged, people don't like it. People say to me, but it's all right for you because you're really confident. You can stand up on stage in front of all these people and you, you're, you're naturally confident. I actually was quite a reserved and shy person before I got into this world of entertainment. The first gig that I ever did, it was a roving gig. So I had to go from table to table doing some magic. About five days before that gig, I started to have like serious sleep problems. I, I wasn't sleeping very well at night. From the anxiety of having to do this first ever gig were unbearable. The day of the event, I can remember trying to come up with excuses as, as to how I could get out of actually going to perform. I was thinking I could fake the car breaking down, uh, I could fake being sick. When I did actually end up arriving at the, at the venue, I resorted to alcohol for a little bit of Dutch courage to push me through. Now the reason why I share that story with you is because if, uh, if me, a shy person who now stands on stage in front of thousands of people can do it, then so can you. The important thing is that we lean in and not away. You see, when we lean away from things that we find fearful or we lean away from areas whereabouts we lack confidence, what we actually do is we make that situation more unknown. And the more unknown it becomes, the more scary it becomes. And as it becomes more scary, it ends up paralyzing us and we then don't move forwards at all. Now, I'm not expecting you to jump straight in and suddenly become super confident and, and fearless of whatever that thing is. But what you need to do is to start taking small actions that stretch you, things that push you slightly out of your comfort zone so that you start to make the unknown known. So you start to understand this area where actually you lack confidence. You start to understand this thing that you are fearful of because once you start to understand this thing, you'll actually find that you don't fear it as much. You'll find that you become more confident in this area. So what I want you to take from this is lean in and not away.